Hello everyone, welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we are going to talk about this type of the setting, how to making this head and also the split on the bottom for the ring shank. Are you ready? Let's get started. For today's video, we are going to talk about this uh, entire model and for the member, don't forget to check it out how to making a matching band and with the B setting for this specific type of the ring shank. If you're interested in membership, please join it by clicking the button or the link in the description below. That's starting from the scratch, we want to set it up our ring size for 16 millimeter in the diameter and we want to bring in the stone roughly about one carat that's about 6.5 millimeter if you want to know how to make the stone i have the video on the right top corner over here that will show you how to build a stone model so let's move the stone into the position that we want and we want to start making the head i'm coming into the front view and it's going to use the command for the arc and let me go ahead to snapping into the quadrant coming to the top just a little bit and bringing up something like this now you can change it into any shape that you want i like to have the bottom is a little bit fatter and i also like to change them by rebuild them into a degree three we don't need to have a more count but we need to have a degree three so whenever we are moving and um any of the point it will get smoother and won't have any kink on it all right so once we get that we are coming into the front view and let's build a cross section i'm going to use the conny corner and with the three point that's snapping into here here and up for whatever size you want bringing a little bit uh, nicer round edges over there and I also want to um, moving that part to the bottom roughly about here making a copy I like to have the buttons a little bit bigger so something like that we can do a, a sweep first to see how it goes before we can uh, change it so let's go ahead to use the sweep one rail under the surface then make sure you record a history this is the rail one and this is the cross section and you want to make sure your um, seam is aligned otherwise they will be twist okay so once we get that look, looking at this and see if that is the thickness that you want if not you can keep editing by for example uh, scale the button up and down or moving in and out so that way you can keep changing once you like it you can go ahead to mirror that one to the other side so that way you have two halves let's go ahead to join them if you join them you will lose the history but since we are not going to change in the shape that will be fine i'm going to moving this one over here and try to use the band command snapping into this point at the end of this point and try to bring this back to the quadrant by snapping and so that will be my first one we want to see if that is going to work maybe it's cutting inside way too much we're kind of moving around and we can also use the polar array number of the item will be four and we're gonna do 360 degree don't forget to record a history okay so now we got this uh, we can adjust it if we need it by for example make them skinnier and everybody will adjust it or we can kind of uh, tilt it a little bit if it is needed once I have all of this I'm going to making a copy by Control C and Control V on your keyboard and rotate one set of them for 45 degree and make them smaller something like that and move them a little bit lower so then i will have another piece right in the middle notice that uh, cutting into my uh, shape is a little bit too much and kind of enlarge them a little bit if the angle is not right you can go ahead to delete any of the shape the extra and we just need to deal in one of them i would like to reset my gumball by relocating the gumball and snapping into the quadrant here and quadrant there 
something like that so I can kind of uh, rotate it into the right angle like this to make it open a little bit more once you like the shape you can go ahead to use the polar array for four of them and don't forget to record a history and you'll get something like that and you can keep editing this one if you feel like it is still in the way until you find a shape that you like once you like the shape we are going to deal in with the ring shank i'm going to draw on the top view with the conic corner again and i would like to have about one and a half millimeter by one and a half millimeter rectangle with the conic corner on and that's moving this back to the quadrant and let's go ahead to mirror that cross section to the other side so we can use the sweep one rail to make the bottom of the ring shank from here to here so for the top of the ring shank i would like to have the shape coming up somewhere about the height of the stone so let me go ahead to draw a curve it's gonna come in about right here. And we also going to extract the ISO curve from this surface to snapping into the quadrant. Let me turn this into the red colors easier for you to see. We having two curves over here. We are going to use the command, it's called blend. And we are going to blend from here to this curve over here. Let's take a look on the top view. You might want to do some editing right here, make it a little bit higher. So you can have a smooth uh, curve to blend with. Let's give it a try. I'm going to use the sweep one rail. It's going to go, this is the rail, this is the cross section. And we're going to have something like this. So it allowed me to find a very beautiful surface right there. Let me lock everything right here so it's not interfere with our model. I'm going to duplicate it with this edges right here. And make sure you join them. And what we wanted to do is delete the surface that we have. So with this curve, I would like it to go a little bit smaller. So something it's going to be like that. So it will be tapered. I also want to move it this a little bit lower. So we don't need to go all the way that high. So it will approximately be here. And let's give it another try. We're gonna go with the sweep one rail. This is the rail, this is the cross section. And also the second cross section is that little thing so we just do the adjustment. Make sure the arrow is aligned properly. I'm going to move it this to this point. And hit enter and then you will see it come out really nicely over here. Let's go ahead to pick up this cross section and I'm going to use a rotate. Starting from the zero, rotating 90 degree, and make sure copy equal yes on the top. So then we can make a cross section over there. With this cross section, I simply just want them to get thinner. So I'm gonna use the 1D scale, snapping from this point to this point, and just bring it down, something like that. We are going to do the sweep one rail. You pick up this rail, a cross section go from here to the one in the middle and another one on the other side. Make sure all the arrow is aligned perfectly that's moving into inside of the ring shank and facing the same direction. Record a history if it is needed. Then you will get something like this. So if everything looks nice to you, you can go ahead to join them. If you feel like you still need to adjust the thickness, you can pick up the curve that we have. For example, you need them to be a little bit thicker. All we need to do is scale 1D, going from the bottom to here, and bringing up a little bit, and things should follow it with it. If you like the surface that you have, just go ahead to join them. And we also want to cap this guy as well. So now they are all solid. Let's go ahead to mirror that guy to the other side. 
So all you have to do, the rest is the bowling union together. And I have a video for member only to show you how to make a matching band with the B setting in this type of the design. More of the Rhino video for jewelry cat design is in my new course, jewelry cat design, Rhino 3D introduction to intermediate course. If you're interested on the right top corner, I have the link for you. Thank you for watching. Please like and comment. Let me know what you think and I will see you next.